Hi everyone, I'm Josh with the Albuquerque Public Library, and this is Quick Science You Can Do at Home. Today, wind-powered boats. Now, the first thing we're going to need is some old cardboard. I just found this from an old box. Cut that out so we can have a nice flat piece. Some other supplies we might need are scissors, a ruler, and a marker. A pencil and a sharpener, an old coffee mug, and some tape, cardstock, in this case I have colored cardstock but any piece of paper will do, some old drinking straws, and some type of stick that can fit through a drinking straw like this. Now in this case I have some old wooden skewers that I pre-cut, but you can use anything as long as it'll fit inside of our plastic tube easily. All right, so let's build the base of our wind-powered car. So I already have some pre-cut, but all I did was I took some cardboard and I cut out a boat-like shape, but it can be any shape you want. Experiment with different ideas. This is what I came up with. So this is going to be the body of our boat. The next thing we want to do is cut out some wheels, cardboard wheels. And this is where your coffee mug comes into play. You take your coffee mug, place it on top of your cardboard, trace around it with your marker until you have a nice little outline of a circle, and you want to cut that out and be as round as you possibly can. Now let's start constructing our car. First, you want to take your bendy straw, if they're bendy, and we want to cut that part off because we don't want it. What we're doing right now is creating our axle. Next thing you want to do is find a stick a little bit longer than the actual straw that you used a second ago. So when you stick it through, it sticks out on both sides. What this will allow us to do is spin freely. So if I attach a wheel onto it, you can see that happen. Just like that. This will ensure that there's not a lot of friction on our wind-powered car. Next thing we're going to do is attach our now-made axles to the body of our car. So you want to kind of spread them out evenly as best you can, something like this, and tape them down. I'll do that real quick. If I can start this tape, there we go. Now you want to make sure they're as straight as possible because this will ensure that our vehicle will drive straight. Once you have that done, go ahead and place your axle through the center just like that and we'll leave that be for just a moment. Now we want to turn this right side up Take our sharp pencil, find where we want to put the mast for our sail, and poke a hole through it. Be careful not to get your fingers underneath. Now it has to be wide enough to hold an entire straw, which is roughly about the size of a pencil. Next, we want to take our whole straw with the bendy, and we want to stick it bendy side through. This way, we can bend the bendy side forward or backwards. I like to go forward because it makes my mast lean back and tape that down. Just like this. So now it shouldn't go anywhere and it's pretty sturdy. The next thing we want to do is attach our wheels. So you just simply poke holes in the center of your wheels and slide them over the top. Just like that. I need to give myself some extra space. There we go. Until you have a functional vehicle. Like 
Excellent. So I would take this part and test to see if it rolls. It does. Basically done. Now we want to take a piece of paper and you can shape it any way you want, but this is what's going to be our potential energy. So take your shape, fold it in half like this so it has like a scoop type feel to it and this is what's going to catch the wind and you slide this over the top of your straw. And you can use your pencil again to punch holes in there or if you have a hole punch laying around, use that as well. And voila, you have a wind powered car and this is what it looks like. Awesome. We'll see you in the next video. I'm Josh.